My name is Fred Smith, and I'm honored to be president of our school and be the leader of 89 faculty and staff. I want to thank the bad piper, Andrew McIntyre, and the sounding brass led by Mark Lashoff. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> to begin our proceedings, please, along with me, recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Please, ah, please stand. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ms. Daly, Jenna Daly, our lower school music teacher, will now perform our national anthem is daily. fantastic. Uh, that was even better than last year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting your exercise today. Please stand <laughs> for the invocation by Dr. William Gilroy. <laughs> Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving God and Father, as we begin these commencement exercises, we pause for a moment to seek your blessings upon those members of the Gerstel Academy class of 2014 who are about to graduate this morning. As they leave these halls and grounds today, we pray that you will guide them on the path that you would have them follow so that in the years to come, they will seek to continue to use the talents and gifts with which you have blessed them to achieve ever greater goals and to contribute to the world around them in ways that will make the world a better place and benefit the lives of others in unique and meaningful ways. May they see this day as the gateway to a new beginning and move forward eagerly to face the challenges that will surely be theirs with the determination to not just succeed but to excel as men and women committed to making a positive difference not just for their own benefit but for the good of all. We thank you, Lord, for them and for what they have achieved as we recognize them this morning. We thank you for the promise that we see in them and for the brightness of the future that is theirs. We thank you for their parents who have loved and nurtured them and provided for their education. We thank you for Dr. Smith and the wondrous vision which inspired him to create this school, not just as a place of academic learning, but as a bastion in which the values so important to civilized life are not only hollowed, but protected, but imparted as treasures to be valued and personified in those who are a part of this community. We thank you for their teachers and coaches who have instructed and inspired them, and for all those who have touched their lives in some way, prepared them
for the next step that is now theirs to take. So again, Lord, we ask your blessings upon these graduates and upon this ceremony for them. And we pray as well that your presence here will touch us all with the love that you alone can give as we rejoice together with you on this very special occasion. All these things and whatever else you see that we need, we pray for in your blessed and holy name. Amen. Please be seated. For the third time, actually. On behalf of the uh, First Salt County Board of Trustees, our administration, faculty and staff and students, welcome parents, grandparents, friends, county commissioners, state representatives, special guests, and our alumni to the 2014 commencement at Thursdale Academy. On this wonderful day, we send congratulations to those parents, grandparents, friends, and most importantly, to our graduating seniors. As you know, this fine group of students represents some of the best young leaders our country has to offer. This day marks the third commencement in the history of Thursdale Academy. As each year passes, I am struck by the tremendous achievements of our students, our faculty, and our staff. But also I'm struck by their dedication to the mission and the value system as directed by our Board of Trustees. The direction of our path comes from the Board of Trustees. They created the mission, the vision, and the value system to help guide our Gershaw administration, faculty, and staff to carry out their plan. The Gershaw Board of Trustees is composed of Chairman Richard Schmidt, Dr. Vanessa Paterakis, Mr. William Paterakis, Mr. Jason Hammond, actually Dr. Jason Hammond, Dr. Ashok Krishnaswamy, Mrs. Suchi Krishnaswamy, Mr. Ben Lyons, Dr. David McCarris, Dr. Richard Nessif, Ms. Karen Filippo, Mr. Robert Smith, and Ms. Janine Wilson. Thank you, trustees, for your vision, dedication, and wisdom. The upper school at Gersell Academy is led by Mr. Gary Sliman and his dedicated assistant, Ms. Amy Martin. These two fine individuals, along with our upper school faculty and staff, make the upper school a fantastic venue for studying the four pillars of a Gersell education. Leadership, college preparatory academics, physical training, Spanish fluency, and all that is Gersell. Thank you, Mr. Sliman and the entire upper school team. No school organization can exist or be able to achieve success without a group of individuals dedicated to achieving the mission. We are so fortunate to have a cadre of superb administrators, faculty, and staff who help educate, guide, and mentor our students and your children. Whether it be the lower, middle, or upper school, these men and women do a fantastic job of making your children what they are today. Please give me a round of applause. I also want to acknowledge the Gerstall Academy Parents Association. These men and women are integral to the process of our school. And I want to mention their head, Ms. Linda Valadon. All those men and women that are involved in the Gerstall Academy Parents Association, please rise. Be recognized. All right. Like, like Finally, and actually, <laughs> Most importantly, our facilities team, led by John Scholes and associates Dave White and Larry Gill, are equivalent of our Navy SEALs. They work in water, like they did this morning, on land and often in the air. Everything you see here on stage, everything including manicured grass, the sidewalks, everything these gentlemen have done, and done with a smile on their face and a song in their heart. Collectively, the Gerstall administration, faculty, and staff, and the Gerstall parents form the Gerstall team. Let me repeat that, the Gerstall team. And remember, in team, everyone achieves more. Many of you may recall the poem that sums up this collaboration between parents, faculty, and staff. It is not the written word or spoken plea that teaches our children what they should be. It is not all the books on all the shelves but it's what the parents and teachers are themselves. Thank you to all the parents and teachers and staff who have helped our seniors become the people that they are 
and to help them and coach them to this milestone in their lives. Now let's turn our attention and traverse the traverse of our seniors. Through the nurturing and mentoring by our first all team, our seniors have matriculated become young leaders that represent America's future. Let me repeat that, the young leaders that represent America's future. Day after day, our seniors, our seniors have assiduously worked to take full responsibility for their actions and their consequences, often being courageous in the face of adversity and have universally been generous with their time, their talents, and their treasures. Our senior leaders have set a standard of excellence for the rest of the student body to follow and have been vital participants in helping their fellow Gerstellians from pre-K to 11th grade live up to the Gerstell principles, attributes, and what it means to be a Gerstell student. No senior represents the concepts and ideals of being honest, ethical, moral, and true to your word and working to reach your full potential better than our next speaker. Valedictorian of the class of 2014, the great class of 2014, Madeline Stone Gardner. I'm just gonna say a few words about Maddie before she speaks. Madeline began her school academy in the sixth grade, and while here she's embodied each of the four pillars of our school. First pillar is leadership, and Madeline has, as you noticed in the program, is a respected leader. The second pillar is college preparatory education. Madison is the top student in her class. The third pillar is physical training, and Maddie has contributed significantly to our athletics program. The fourth and last pillar of Gerstell education is Spanish fluency, and Madeline has achieved Spanish fluency based on a national Spanish exam. Ladies and gentlemen, again, please welcome to the podium from the great class of 2014, Madeline Stone Gardner. Good morning. My name is Madeline Gardner, and welcome to the third Gerstel Academy Upper School Commencement Ceremony. I'm honored to stand up here today and to address you and also to address my graduating class of 2014. But before I begin, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Smith for inviting Dr. Ben Carson to be our guest speaker. And on behalf of my class, we're all very uh, honored and privileged to have him here with us today. There is a saying that I like that I'd like to talk about today, and it goes, to whom much is given, much is expected. As a group, the class of 2014 has been given a lot, and I believe that it is our responsibility to give back to others in response. First of all, we've been given the opportunity to attend Gersell Academy and gain an excellent education. Some of us have been attending Gersell Academy for 10 or 11 years, while others of us began our Gersell education in high school. Four years of college prep, academics, and leadership classes have taught us to think critically. For instance, we held ethical debates in our 10th grade ethics class. We did in-depth analysis of Hamlet and Shakespeare um, in English, and we rose to meet the challenge of writing lengthy research papers and persuasive essays in our English history and government classes. Not to mention memorizing the entire eight-part definition of critical thinking and leadership. <laughs> We also learned to connect current events to our personal daily lives. Even though we sometimes struggled with Ms. Tonks and Dr. Greenspoon's current events quizzes, I'm glad we had them because we kept in touch with current news stories and we had engaging discussions about them. And who could forget the Gerstel pillar of modern language fluency? At some points, we were ready to go along with Senora Doyle when she told us to Aubrey La Ventana, which <laughs> for those of you who don't know, it means out the window. <laughs> the majority of our class is functionally fluent in Spanish. Gerstel academics were time-consuming and difficult, but as a class, we challenged ourselves to work to reach our full potential. I'm proud of our efforts, and I think we gained self-awareness and realized just how much we could achieve. In addition to our academics, we were also given leadership training. 
Garcella Academy is unique in that we are a leadership school that emphasizes learning from observing positive leadership, analyzing qualities of a good leader, and practicing effective communication skills. I'm truly grateful for Dr. Smith's vision for this school, 